All right, what do we have here? We have the Taurus model 44 and the Smith & Wesson model 629. And this is a uh, replacement 629 from the one from the last video I did. Uh, it was missing parts. I did call Smith & Wesson. They were kind enough to send me the replacement parts, though I was replacing the gun anyway. It was missing the, uh, the detent right in there. A little piece sticking out. And uh, what they sent me was a spring and the retainer pin for the detent itself right here if I can get it in the light right you see Smith & Wesson not only sent me a defective gun the first time but they couldn't fix their mistake the second time uh, one of the things that was going on with this thing when I first got the replacement I don't know if you can see how rusted that is, or the appearance of rust. I cleaned it up. I cannot get it any cleaner inside there, right where the uh, the frame is meeting the barrel. But it was really, really brown before. And then, uh, but the Taurus, I can't find anything wrong with. So so far, I'm pretty happy. I didn't shoot either one of these yet. I was actually waiting for this to come back or get the replacement before I fired the Taurus. Um, other than that, this 629 looks pretty good. No other issues. And here's the Taurus. Haven't shot either one of them yet. Kind of anxious. Today we're going to be shooting Magtech 240 grain. Got my hearing protection, and we'll set you up. Shoot the Smith 629 first. Steel targets at 23 yards. I don't know if you'll be able to hear the ding or if I hit it. I didn't adjust any sights because I don't know where it's shooting yet. A little high. I have a habit of counting. I don't need to do the Hickok, did I fire five or did I fire six? Every pull of the trigger, yeah, I'm counting it. Okay. Now we're gonna do the Taurus Model 44. Both 44 mag. Same target, 23 yards. That one, I believe I hit every one of those. I better try the Smith again for good measure.
Load them up here. We've got six again. Let's see if we can get all these on target again. Didn't get them all on target the first time. That was me. We got the Magtech primer. That's all. Just checking it out. Guess we can do the Taurus one more time. My first video. I mentioned how the uh, the Smith and Wesson feels really good in the hand, and the Taurus was really narrow. I can tell you, I don't really notice much of anything when you're shooting. They both feel just as good. And there you have it. You got the Taurus 44, Smith and Wesson 629, first shots. Sights are okay. Uh, sight picture. Both of them have awesome sight pictures. The uh, handling, yeah, they both handle pretty well. So if uh, if you like, ask me any questions. Feel free. Uh, they're both shooters. Thank you.